Eagle family. Thank you for joining us for Eagle Land News this morning. Today is Wednesday, October 2021. The weather today will be partly cloudy and hot. The cafeteria team is hard at work cooking a tasty lunch today. Your choices are pizza, peas, carrots, mixed fruit, raisins. This sounds like a healthy lunch. Now to today's news. Good morning, Eagle. Don't forget to wear your hero spirit wear on Wednesdays and Fridays. Quarter one ends on the 28th. There's no school on the 29th for teacher training. Over to you for more news. Thank you so much. Guess what, Eagles? Heroes Elementary is almost 10 years old. 10 years, Eagles. Next Tuesday, October 26th, is Heroes Elementary's 10th birthday. This is a big day for our school, Eagles. Let's take a look at what the school looked like in 2012. Wow, it definitely looks a lot different. It also looks better with all of the students in it. There are lots of exciting things planned for October 26th to celebrate. Ask your teacher for more information. Today we have Dr. Edwards with us to talk about service learning. Welcome, Dr. Edwards. Hi, everyone. Today we are going to take a look into service learning. Let's take a look at this short video that explains what service learning is. There are a lot of ways to help and get involved in what is called service learning. But how do you start? Service learning is a process of connecting your learning to needs in the community. Here's how it works. You create a plan, follow a process, and make a positive impact for others and for you. It all begins with investigation. Take some time and look at the world around you. Think and act like a detective. What are some issues you care about? What resources or talents do you have to make a difference in the world around you? What does your community need? Just as you study geography to discover the physical placement of things in the world, you investigate and study community needs to discover what can be improved. Next, it's time for preparation. You can work with classmates, teachers, and your community to create a plan around how you're going to address these needs. You could work with your science teacher to collect water samples, or ask your gym teacher to help host a jump rope -athon. You could even work with your classmates to write a grant in order to purchase materials or transportation. Ask yourself, what do we need to achieve our goal? Who might be able to help us? And how can they help? Then take action and dedicate some of your time, talent, or treasure to make a difference. There are four types of service to consider. Direct service is when you work directly with or for people, animals, or the environment. You can provide indirect service, 
This is when you take action without even seeing who you help. You can also advocate and lend your voice to a cause or movement. Or do original research and gather information about an issue to inform others to take action. Throughout the entire process, it's important to reflect. Take a step back and look at what you're doing with fresh eyes. Think about what's happening before, during, and after you take action. What do you hope to accomplish? How are you doing? Could you make it even better? Reflection is the time to think, discuss, and learn from your actions. Finally, demonstration is the time to show off your challenging work. Take center stage to explain what you learned and share the cool things you accomplished for those you helped, the community you served. Investigate, prepare, take action, reflect, demonstrate. This is the strategy that will make your service learning more than a one-time action. It will kickstart a meaningful experience with a lasting effect. Give it a try and see for yourself the great things you can do. If you learn about philanthropy, then it kind of affects your future. Like you become a better person. It means more than just giving. Sharing, helping people, and just making sure everyone can be the best they can. There's just a satisfaction to me about giving back to people that aren't lucky enough to have what I have, like food or a home to stay in. So just giving back to them and allowing them to have a part of that, even if it's just one meal, it means a lot to me. Our HERO students are already active in service learning. A perfect example is the recycling project that has just started. Great job, HERO students. Stay tuned for tomorrow's part two on service learning. <coughs> now to the joke of the day. Thank you so much. Today's joke is brought to you by a student in Miss Daughtry's fifth grade class. Are you to ready to laugh? Two pickles fell out of a jar. Heroes, our heads solve problems and are always learning. Our hearts are respectful and considerate, and our hands work together for the good of all. Make it an excellent. You